In the theory of relativity, the Lorentz contraction formula says that the length of an object as viewed from an observer is equal to the length of the object at rest times this value here, which is a function of the velocity of the object and the speed of light. So first, find the limit as V approaches C from the left of L. So as V approaches C from the left, this V squared is approaching C squared. So that means that this entire term is approaching one. So that means this square root is approaching one minus one, zero. And zero times L naught is zero. So this entire limit is approaching zero. That means that from the perspective of an observer, if something is traveling at the speed of light, you can't see it. Okay, why is a left-hand limit necessary? The velocity has to approach the speed of light from, the, from below because nothing can exceed the speed of light. 